Currently at the museum, which is part of the masjid, as you can see behind you, Taala, the sacred relics are in front of us. The blessed hair from the blessed beard of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the boxes um, in which the blessed hair were kept, and we also have manuscripts of the Al Khara Sharif. Al-Shifa of Imam Qadi Iyad and other books of ulama as you can see beautifully mashallah and if you come to this side we can see the letters written by Sultan Abdul Hamid which for example this one uh, it's called Barat. Um, so it's a letter that it guarantees a quarter share in honor of the sweeper of the tomb, the blessed chamber of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So even those sweepers of Medina to Munawwara, they were honored by the kings, the Ottoman caliphs, and these are all letters to guarantee housing dwellings for such people in Medina to Munawwara and then if you come to uh, this side you see the books for example this one uh, this is Kitabul Ma'rifatul Miratibul Harb okay you can see how to uh, attach a bow and arrow uh, is to do about warfare and then this is about physics uh, mashallah and you see some maps as well and then these are the um, handwritten calligraphy uh, on diff from different verses of the Quran. So, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala wa sallam, Imam Hussein's name, Fanjidan uh, Park, Allah Muhammad Ali Fatima Hassan Hussein. Um, and then other verses of the Quran, Ya ayuhun nabi, inna arsan laka shahidan wa mubashiran wa nadhira. And then we come to uh, this side, again more uh, frames of handwritten calligraphy written by the scribes during the era of the Ottoman Empire. And then we have a 3D map of Medina Munawwara. And how Islam spread from Makkah to Mukarama to Medina to Munawwara. Right in front, you can see a handwritten Quran, and it is written in a cloth. If I come closer, uh, 19th century, a Quran on cloth. And these used to be shirts. Um, you can see these shirts. They're written. They were worn by the uh, the caliphs. And it would be half taweez. You can see Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And you also can see Ya Muhammad written. And then Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali. And other verses of the Quran and inscriptions. These are written as a protection uh, for the, uh, the leaders of the army. And also, again, we have, if you come here, the blessed shirt Mubarak of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's called Hiya Sharif. It used to be kept in this case um, during the time of Sultan Ahmed the uh, Third. The blessed Shirt Mubarak to stay here, and these are uh, very old tasbih. You can see the size of the beads, mashallah, wooden tasbihs uh, of 19th century uh, dating. This is dated 1250. A very old. Okay, Darvish Kaskule uh, Fukara. Dervish arms dish, okay, um, made from coconut shell. This one, and these used to be uh, covers of the tomb of the wives of the caliphs. So, for example, this one belongs to uh, Mihraj Sultan, uh, the, uh, the Sultan Salim's mother. Uh, and they used to have um, these covers for them. Now, if you come to this side.
Um, here used to they used to be um, be kept on top of the flag, the standard uh, of Ottoman Empire. This one, they've uh, because of the love they were Hanafi. So this one uh, has the name of Imam Azam or Hanifa. Can if you can zoom in, uh, it's written in Arabic. Okay, Imam Azam Hanifa Abu Hanifa, uh, the great Imam. Okay, and then this one says, MashaAllah, if you come at the front. Okay.